Glass has become one of the most popular building materials used today because of its virtually unlimited aesthetic options combined with outstanding performance. There is a wide range of glasses to choose from to meet the needs of any project. Today we're going to discuss spandrel glass. In this video, we'll cover the definition of spandrel glass, how spandrel glass is fabricated, specifying spandrel glass, and placement considerations for spandrel glass. Let's start with the definition of spandrel glass. Unlike vision glass, which is meant to be transparent, spandrel glass is designed to be opaque in order to help hide features between the floors of a building, including vents, wires, slab ends, and mechanical equipment. Now, let's talk about how spandrel glass is fabricated. The fabrication process for monolithic glass spandrels and IG spandrels involves applying an opacifier, which is typically made from silicone-based paint or ceramic fritz, to the indoor surface of a glass light. The purpose of this process is to create tinted or colored glass panels that seamlessly blend with the other parts of a building facade. Shadow box spandrels use a different fabrication process and are constructed with a transparent or tinted light and backed by an insulated metal sheet of some other form of light blocking material. The purpose of a shadow box is to add depth to the building exterior by allowing light to penetrate through the glass into the facade while still hiding the building mechanicals. When specifying monolithic IG or shadow box spandrels, there are some factors to keep in mind. First, highly transparent vision glass cannot be perfectly matched with spandrel glass. Second, color harmonization with spandrels is easier with darker or more reflective tinted glasses. Finally, all glass used in a spandrel should be heat strengthened to resist the thermal stresses associated with potential heat absorption and buildup. Here are some other things to consider when using IG spandrel glass. First, we recommend placing the opacifier on the fourth surface of the IG to avoid potential release of VOCs inside the IG. Second, if insulation is going to be used with an IG panel, it's important for the fabricator to ensure that the adhesive and insulation are designed for such a use. Added insulation can trap solar energy inside the spandrel unit, allowing it to build up, increasing the risk for thermal breakage or failure of the adhesive, the insulation, or other critical components. When using shadow box spandrels, you need to consider that condensation and drying make shadow box spandrels vulnerable to the buildup of unsightly stains, even when a perfect moisture barrier is achieved. Shadow box spandrels also can trap different types of construction debris between the time they're glazed and the time the insulation is installed, and VOCs from paint, sealants, and other materials can create a permanent residue on the finished spandrel. Finally, improper installation of backing materials can cause hot spots in the shadow box spandrels, leading to potential breakage. To conclude, today we focused on the definition of spandrel glass, how spandrel glass is fabricated, specifying spandrel glass and placement considerations for spandrel glass. For more information about the design and installation of spandrel glass or any other glass question, visit vitroglazings.com or call 855-VTROGLS, 855-887-6457.